I haven't forgotten it at all. Like I say, I've got pictures all over the house. June 1958, 18-year-old Bill Bailey, along with his cousin, enlist in the U.S. Navy. I can tell you the time of day almost. After boot camp and sonar school, Seaman Bailey's first ship assignment, the newly commissioned USS Edson. In one of his first assignments... They sent me with a piece of paper all over that ship, and I wound up down the electrician shop, and I was looking for a fallopian tube for our gear. And they all laughed, and I was, what, 19, and uh, when I found out, I wanted to kill somebody, you know. <laughs> So you never found a Philippians? Oh, I found out what it was. <laughs> <laughs> Petty Officer Second Class Bailey served on the Edson for three years, including Westpac cruises to Hawaii, Guam, Midway, Japan, Hong Kong, and the Philippines. But perhaps the memory that most stands out in his mind is one that will forever be remembered in Edson history, the night of April 29th, 1960. We had a little bit of excitement. Uh, we had these pilots that went down. And we had uh, we were on plane guard for the Ranger as a carrier, and uh, if I remember right, it was at night because we couldn't see nothing, and they put a bunch of people out by the guardrails, just eyeballing the ocean, you know. And uh, we finally picked up three of them, you know, they had flares and everything. Bill Bailey's naval career officially ended on July 4th, 1962. Not long after, Bill and his wife Linda moved to the Flint area where they still live. But the memories of his time on the USS Edson has never faded. Now those memories are about to be rekindled with intense and emotional anticipation as the USS Edson is about to embark on a journey to a new home in Bay County. I would be glad if it was stayed in New York or, or in Sheboygan, just the, the fact that it existed and avoided all the scrap pile or whatever, you know. But the fact that it's going to Bay City, it's like I told you earlier, it's just, but it's still unbelievable. I mean, every time I talk to somebody, I say, they can't believe it, and I still can't believe it, you know. I tried to explain it to them. It's hard to do because I'll have to understand it myself first. <laughs>